Hey, what's up everybody? Reckless Boone here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to set up uh, the Discord plugin for Macro Deck 2. With this uh, plugin all set up and ready to go, you'll get some uh, valuable variables that you can use in your buttons, along with some actions for turning your mute on and off, uh, so you can deafen on and off, uh, as well as executing a webhook on specific channels. Um, and now there's the ability to set your rich presence to a custom status. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and step into it. Okay, so first things first, you can find all the information on how to set this up and what it provides you at my GitHub repository, Reckless Boon slash Macro Deck Discord plugin up here uh, in case you want to read through any of this content, but I am going to show you how to do this. So the first thing that we need to do is we have to create a new Discord application that interfaces with Macro Deck. Uh, the reason this has to be done on your end is because that with OAuth 2, I can't provide a secret on an open source project. And so this is a little tedious, but it's not too hard. Trust me. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Discord developer portal right here. Open that up and it's going to ask you to log in. Now I'm going to just use the scan QR option since I have it on my phone, easy to use. And it will log you in and it'll bring you to this applications page, which is where we're gonna uh, set up a new application. Now you might be asking, whoa, whoa, hold on. You've got an application right there already. What do you already got it set up for? Well, we're gonna go ahead and take care of that. Macro deck, plug in, goodbye. Okay, so now that I'm back to where you're at, let's go ahead and get started. We uh, will create a new application by clicking the button up here in the top right. And you can name this whatever you want. It doesn't matter. You're the only one that's going to use it. But uh, you can just put in macro deck plugin. And that'll work. So we hit create. And next you're meet, met with this page here. And you can ignore all of this. If you want to upload an app icon, you can. Um, but what you really need to do is go over to OAuth2. And here we need to add a redirect. And we're going to add HTTPS. 127001, and this is your loopback address. This is telling the Discord client that it's okay to accept requests coming from your computer and going to your own computer. Um, and now you don't overlook the save changes. You need to click the save changes. It's very easy to miss this. It kind of just slides up on you. So hit save there, and you'll see that we have a client ID and a client secret, and we will get this when we set up the plugin in Macro Deck next. Okay, so now that we have our Discord application prepped and ready to go, let's go ahead and install the Discord plugin on the Macro Deck server. So let's go ahead and pull that up. And under the new extension store over here, we're going to find the Discord plugin by Reckless Boon. We click on that and down here we hit install. Now that's gonna go ahead and download and install it. It's going to ask if you want to configure the Discord plugin now. I suggest that you don't configure it right away. You can, but I think it would be best if you restart your Macro Deck server uh, right away so that we get the nice icon that is on the left. So over in my taskbar, I'm going to go ahead and restart the Macro Deck. And now it's popped back up. You can see we now have this Discord icon here. It says disconnected. Now we need to go and configure it. So we go over to the plugins. Uh, tab and right here we now have the discord plugin installed we hit configure and you'll see that it requires a client ID and a client secret and we can get that off of this page here so the client ID we go ahead and just copy that plug that in and the client secret if there's nothing here if you've come back and you need to redo it um, hit reset secret and that will generate a new one and you say yes and it will only show you this as long as you don't refresh so go ahead and copy that throw that in here and if you want to verify that it is the right value you can click this to show the secret okay so what's gonna happen is now I'm gonna hit okay to save this and the discord plugin is gonna reach out to your discord client and ask for permissions and it should pop up uh, on top of whatever screen that program is on so I hit okay and here Discord is asking for all of these permissions for the Macro Deck plugin or whatever you named your application. I'm gonna hit authorize. 
and then we head back and now you'll see that the discord plugin should say connected here uh, and if it is flashing and it says it is trying to connect and it won't you can go ahead and click it so that it stays white and says disconnected click it again and it'll start it'll retry the connection and sometimes that'll help if it's having a little issue trying to talk to the discord client okay so now that we have the discord uh, plugin installed let's go ahead and set up a couple of actions go look over the actions so we're gonna find an empty button here edit and let's go ahead and take a look at what actions we can do so now we have the discord plugin group up here and all of the actions that we can take there's the set mute on set mute off toggle mute set deafen on set deafen off and toggle deafen um, these do exactly as they say toggle mute on and off toggle deafen on and off um, there's also setting a rich presence to where you can have your Discord show that you are playing macro deck plugin or whatever your application is, and then have some extra details on it. And then there's the clear rich presence, which uh, allows you to wipe that custom presence. And then there's the execute webhook action that allows you to submit a text message to a specific channel. Uh, and there are a lot of configurations for this. You'll just need the webhook URL and the message text, but it is very configurable so you can change the name of whatever Discord, of whatever the bot is going to uh, say, that you can change the avatar of the bot. You can include embeds, which are uh, those cards that you can see that, that show up in Discord sometimes. You can have special author's name, a link to their page, and a link and an icon link. You can title the embed, a URL to the uh, content itself, whereas this is a URL to the author's page, um, a description of what the embed is. There's a little color on the outside of the card that you can set here. Um, there's also a thumbnail that you can have on the embed and that can point to any location, uh, any URL. And then there's also a small image that can be put on there as well. Uh, then there is a footer section with text and another icon. And on top of that, you can add fields to this embed. And you can add as many as those as you want. Um, and you can make them inline or not. I suggest playing around with this if you're actually going to use it. So let's go ahead and just set up a simple uh, mute and deafen button. So we're going to click toggle mute here for the action. We're going to bind this. Here are the uh, Discord variables. Anything that starts with discord on it i believe they're all at the top here and there are a few different uh there is self muted server muted and any muted self mute is when you mute yourself server mute is if a server admin has muted you and so what we want to bind to i suggest is the any muted so then if you are muted by yourself or somebody has muted you for you uh this will show properly on your macro deck so let's go ahead and put uh mic here so if we are not muted, that means our mic is live. So I like to show this one. If uh, the state is on, that means we are muted. So I like to show this one and we hit okay. And that's it. So now we have a on off mic button here. Let's go ahead and follow it up with a toggleable deaf button. So under the actions, discord plugin, toggle deafen, put that over there. We're going to bind this to discord is any deafened. So this is the same thing as mute, uh, as muted, uh, whether you do it yourself or an admin has done it. So if you are deaf it, or if deaf is off, that means it is live. So I like to use uh, this icon here shows that I can hear and people can hear me or I can hear everybody on which means you are deafened I like to show this one right here all right so that's gonna do it for this video you should now have a discord plugin set up and connected to your discord client um, if there's anything else that you would like to see me do for tutorials uh, you can uh, comment down below you can also submit uh, issues to the repository on the github repo that I will link down below in the description and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel it really helps me out it costs you nothing nothing um, but for now I'll see you in the next one